Hey, media heads, we're out here today testing an IQ Qualsys Panel 4. These things have really good wireless range to power G locks and, and contacts. And uh, we're doing kind of a demonstration here. Our office is backed up to the Addison Airport, and our office is actually about, uh, I don't know, 1,000, 1,200 feet that way. There's a couple buildings in between. And we just kind of wanted to do a test here and see what the wireless range could actually do. Uh, we run into a lot of scenarios with other manufacturers that that are that are coming directly from wireless contacts not communicating to the panel so uh, we really have enjoyed working with this product and we just are kind of putting it to the test today to see what happens as airport backed up to us has a lot of wireless frequency uh radio frequency and things like that and so we figured if uh, if there's anywhere to, to truly test this thing and see what it can do it's here so i actually have uh, mitch on the other um on the other side here he's at our office in front of the IQ panel four, so he can see what's going on, and he's going to walk through a couple things on the panel itself. Mitch, Mitch are, you, are you there? Can you hear us okay? I read you loud and clear. Excellent, excellent. So right now, what is the uh, status of our system looking like? Uh, the front door is shut, and the system is disarmed, and the front door is locked. Okay, so um, media heads, what I'm going to show you here, this is going to emulate our front door. This is a wireless door contact. So when that opens and closes, that should communicate to the panel. And then we have our, our uh, wireless power G lock here. Uh, so Mitch, let's, uh, let's go ahead and arm the system. All right, it is armed away. So we have 58 seconds until it's armed. Now, when, uh, when your security panel is counting down, it, it expects that you're gonna open and close an exit door, a front door or a garage door. And that's how it actually knows that you've left the house and it arms the system to a way. Otherwise, if that open close action doesn't happen, it's gonna arm it to stay, uh, which results in a different set of um, actions on the, on the back end when it comes to an alarm. All right, so we're counting down, Mitch. Where are we at here? 28. I think I heard an armed away. It's armed away. Okay, system is armed away. All right, so we're Walking in through the front door here. That door is now open. And you have 30 seconds to put your alarm code. System in 20 seconds. And it has been disarmed. Now disarmed. System is disarmed. And we can see the door con the front door is now shut, but it was on the open. It was open. Okay, with our front door now shut. Now what's the status of the door lock on your end, Mitch? Locked. Locked. Okay, go ahead and do a remote unlock from the keypad for us. Doing it right now. Look at that. Now, that was pretty quick. Command. Awesome. That was fast. Okay, now we're showing unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and manually lock it from my end just by turning the the back of the lock. Already locked. And you're showing locked on your end. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and manually unlock it. I want to try one more thing. I'm going to press and hold that button at the very top. That's if you're leaving the house. That's how you're going to lock the system down. Press and hold for two seconds. Lock it. And Mitch, how are we looking? Awesome. That's really fast. And that's over over a thousand feet uh, of range. There's concrete buildings in between us and the panel. Uh, that's that's really fast communication. Yeah, agreed. I think we're all good here. See you guys later. Thanks for Thank joining you. us, media heads.